artists come from all walks of life and we should celebrate art from all walks too. Today we are talking about outsider art. Potter and Potter Auctions has a gallery composed of outsider artists. Joining us now to explain what that means is director Aaron Packer. Aaron, welcome. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, well, let's just get to it. What does it mean, <laughs> outsider art? Spill what the is beans, this? Aaron. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So, uh, there's regular artists, for lack of a, a better thing to say, um, people who were trained at the Art Institute, for example, oh, or Cranbrook in uh -huh. Michigan or something like that. But uh, there's plenty of people who never had any training, and uh, they're either called self-taught artists or outsider artists, or if there's been a tradition handed down, maybe they're a folk artist like quilt quilting or wood carving or something, something like that. And so... Uh, Three of the artists we brought today are official outsider artists. They're self-taught. Two of them were artists who worked on the streets. They, were, they weren't necessarily homeless, but they liked to be outside and uh, uh, sold their wares and did their artwork right on the street. Oh, cool. wow. And you guys are going to be displaying all this. Tell people how they can come, what they can do to see this artwork. Okay, so officially we're an auction house, and we have an auction this Wednesday starting at 10 a.m., and it's potterauctions.com. And officially the title of the show is Contemporary uh, Outsider Fine and Folk. And so we, we have the whole breadth of all different kinds of art, but we have about 250 lots of uh, folk and outsider art, and then we have, you know, 300 lots of contemporary art, and then in the fine art category are older paintings, still lifes, mm -hmm. uh, landscapes, that kind of thing, okay. and sculpture, bronze sculpture, that kind well, of thing. Well, let's so. get into it. Let's take a closer look at the pieces that you brought in with you. Okay. Uh, let's start with this one right here. Can okay. you tell us a little bit about it? That's Wesley Willis, and he's passed away, I believe, in uh, 2004, but, uh, uh, if you can see that it's magic marker on poster board, magic marker and ballpoint pen, and he used to sit in the subway, and he basically was a savant who could remember this is a particular scene of the Dan Ryan Expressway, oh, wow. and sometimes he would have Comiskey Park in the background, oh, but cool. but uh, uh, he can he he could actually remember what everything looks like, what buildings where, and he had sort of a photographic memory. Incredible. He was also more well known actually as a musician. I had a show with him like 30 years ago oh. and he used to do uh, uh, funny things like he'd like to hit He'd like to butt your head like you'd lean in oh, and, yeah, yeah. and do like a sort of mind meld, like a Star Trek oh, kind wow. of thing. But uh, he's a very well-known artist now and is uh, known throughout the world. Well, we have about a minute and a half left. Can you show us what else people can see? Sure. This is Tony Fitzpatrick, and he oh, is yeah. uh, some, someone, you know, he's not really an outsider artist. He's you know, well definitely self-taught. Yeah. But this is a print, and he's worked with all sorts of printmakers over the years. But he does great collage work and great original drawings, and he's well-known. Mm -hmm. You know, he's been on that. TV show Patriot and a yes, few other yeah. things, and he's a great poet and an actor. Um, but uh, uh, this is a print of a, he did does birds a lot, so this is a, 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 a bird called okay. Pinky, and that's actually on a book page, but it's a print. Cool. You've got so, some sculptures here next. And so this is William Dawson. He was, uh, uh, he's, he's officially an outsider artist. He was a, a, a produce delivery person, and he also was a security guard. And when, when he was a security guard, he had all this time on his hands, so he started wood carving. Wow. And then uh, he lived in Cabrini Green. I met him about 30 years cool. ago, just to say, and he's long past now. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, you can sort of see he just, you know, had the whittling uh, knife out and uh, had ho house paint. And that's sort of like a classic situation. You found a piece of wood, you found some paint that you had left over from your, and he put it you know, mm -hmm. uh, from, from a house painting project and, and put it together. The next person is John Carney and he's uh, got the chrome bumper welding things. And so he went to Cranbrook. He's an officially a well-trained artist. We all know in, in Oz Park, yes. the tin man, <laughs> the welded tin man is, you know, seven or nine, I think it's nine feet tall. But this is a tabletop sculpture, and this is going to be on the block this uh, uh, Wednesday at the auction, and all these pieces will be for bidding. And then at the very end, uh, we've got two pieces. We've got a, a woman named Zanny Jacobson, and that's actually like a cast plaster relief of the water tower. Uh, and she's a trained artist. She went to the School of the Art Institute. And then below on the bottom is an nice. artist named Lee Godey. And she uh, is the queen of street artists. And Wesley Willis was the king. Those are the two most famous ones. That. And she used to sit by the water tower or Blooming, Bloomingdale's uh -huh. or the Art Institute and uh, actually do ballpoint pen, 
and paint on canvas. So cool, Aaron, and I love that you've promised me that there are affordable pieces here. <laughs> Agreed. So that, you know, it's not just for you highbrow or just yes. collectors. There's uh, something, you know, reachable within reach for everybody. So the Outsider and Fine Art Auctions, December 6th. You can come to view all the artwork on December 2nd. Head to their website, potterauction.com, to learn a whole lot more. Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Thank you so much.